You're watching TV9 News. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are today's announcements from the TV9 studio. The Oshkosh North High School puts on a musical every year. Last year, it was Big Fish, the year before that, Guys and Dolls, and the year before that one, Les Miserables, which was French. This year, the Oshkosh North High School is performing the musical Matilda, and we're going to go interview some people in the pit orchestra and in the play itself. Matilda is the story of a young girl whose name is Matilda and she has a really awful family that doesn't love her and is abusive and she starts kindergarten and she also has a headmistress or a principal who is really awful. So the story is about her and her friends and how they overcome um, these adults in their life who aren't um, the greatest people and how they can change their own story and make the most of their life even when they have these kind of awful circumstances. The students in the music department have been practicing for a long time to get Matilda just right. How long have people been working on it? We have been working on this. Um, we had auditions in the beginning of October and we started our rehearsals in November um, and then we performed in February. The North Choir isn't the only act in this ensemble however. So we have our lovely stage manager, Ms. Jara Jennings, and she takes care of sets, lighting, she makes sure everything, every prop is in place, and she is honestly just a rock. The North Band students are also an important part. Well, I'm the conductor of the pit orchestra, and a pit orchestra is basically like a live band an orchestra of people under the stage that play all the music behind Matilda. So all the music in Matilda is like made live. Um, during the show and a lot of it is done by students who go to Oshkosh North and the music is very challenging. It's exactly what they play on Broadway. Um, and so it's a great opportunity for students who are really good on their instruments to make an, a direct impact on their school and collaborate with the choir department. Students can get tickets to see Matilda by heading to the Grand Box Office. Tickets are free with a student ID. All of the revolting children in the North Music Department are excited to see you there. We work really hard every single year for these and it would be a shame for people to not see it and come enjoy it and um, appreciate the work that we do. I don't think North has ever had like one bad show and I think this one is going to be much different than the one from last year and I feel like a lot of people know the story of Matilda more than they think they do. You should go see Matilda. Howdy. As of January 31st, we have recycled 213.3 pounds. Our goal for February is to reach a little over 300 pounds. To keep dropping your single-use plastic off into the, Osh in the community's office corner. Thank you, Oshkosh North Committee, and keep up the great work. Hey, Oshkosh North. The FFA will be selling flowers for Valentine's Day in the cafeteria during lunches. Single carnations will be sold for one dollar, and a single rose will be sold for two. You can also purchase six roses and a vase for fifteen dollars, or twelve roses and a vase for thirty. The Cupid's bunch will be sold for fourteen dollars, and it will contain one rose, two carnations, three tulips, and a protective sleeve. The sale will happen on Wednesday, February seventh, until Tuesday the next week, the thirteenth. Any flowers that you purchase will be delivered on the fourteenth. So make sure to come by and buy flowers for your special valentines. Spring play auditions. Auditions for the Oshkosh North Stage Society's production of These Shining Lives will be held after school Monday, February 19th and Tuesday, February 20th in room 233. You may come to one or the other or come to both. Unable to make the audition dates and want to be involved or other questions? See Mr. Green in... 233. Where are we going today? Alright, and then what is the where is the best place to register to vote? Online with a ballot ID. Who am I here with today? Mrs. Anderson. What is the legal age to register to vote? 18. That is correct. Who am I here with today? Uh, Antonio. Uh, Sully. 
And I have one question for both of you. When is the Oshkosh North High School voter registration event? February 14th or Valentine's Day. I was going to say a day that ends in Y. Those are both great answers, but I'm sorry to tell you, Sully here is correct. It is February 14th. Who am I here with today? I'm Max Garvey. And I have one question for you. Yeah. What election is on April 2nd? It is obviously, unequivocally, the primary election. Thank you, and that is the correct answer. Can I hear you with today? Uh, Mr. Griffith. Can I ask you one question? Of course. What is the model for this year's voter registration event on February 14th? I have no idea. It is. Voting is an act of love. Who are we with today? Taylor. All right. And what does LWV stand for? I want to say lead of, I don't know. All right, it is lead of women voters. Nice try. Hello, and welcome back to World News. Hope your week is starting off fine. As the war in Ukraine drives on, another potential conflict could start within the next decade. Yes, I am talking about China and Taiwan. Taiwan is kind of like Ukraine, but also not. You see, just like Russia and Ukraine, China sees Taiwan as its own territory. They border each other through the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan is known as the Republic of China, or ROC. And it was founded in 1912, led by Chiang Kai-shek, later in 19. 19- 27, it slipped into civil war with its communist-led Mao Zedong and its People's Republic of China. The PRC during World War II, when the Japanese invaded China, the PRC and the ROC decided to work together to defeat the Japanese. However, after World War II, the civil war continued on until the communists defeated the ROC and they were forced to flee to, you guessed it, Taiwan. The ROC has been there ever since. But there was never any peace deal ending the Civil War, which is why they have high tensions to this day, as they both see each other as rebels in their own territory. Chinese President Xi Jinping has di- directed the People's Liberation Army to be prepared to invade Taiwan by 2027, but according to claims made by the U.S. intelligence community, China could attack as soon as 2024. I don't know how likely that is anymore, now that I think about it. And also, according to President Biden, in the scenario of a Chinese invasion of Taiwan, America would come to its defense. But would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. To be clear, sir, U.S. forces, U.S. men and women, would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. Yes. Now brings the question, why America would come to its defense of Taiwan? Well, because it is on the first island chain, which is a chain of islands extending from South Korea all the way to the Philippines. It's a way to blockade China and prevent them from expanding and entering the broader Pacific Ocean. A bigger reason the U.S. might intervene is because Taiwan is home to like some of the most advanced semiconductor facilities, which make up 90% of the world's most advanced computer chips needed to make some of the most modern military technology in the world. And if China would ever get a hold of that, it could block the West from accessing the most advanced computer chip technology in the world. And it's why America would we'll, we'll go to war over Taiwan. Well, I'm sure in the coming decades, we honestly, even in the coming years, we will see more, more growing relations and deals with Taiwan expand. All, it's all a matter of when. I just want to thank you for listening to World News. Hope, hope you got, got some of that out of this. Thank you for watching TV9 News. Have a great day.